Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to day one of our celebrity summit cruise vlog series. Yeah. So where are we? We're in Miami. Miami. So we are at the Even Airport Hotel in Miami and we 100% recommend this place. It's yeah. a very short walk to the uh, main airport station where you can get rails and buses to go anywhere all over the town. Um, we have we talked a little bit more about that in our Miami culinary tours video that will be right before this one. Uh, but just a basic overview because I was really tired yesterday when I was doing that one is you can do a day or a week easy pass. The day easy pass is only six dollars per person. It's a little bit less than that. I just ran it up. Um, you can pay with your credit card and you get your little pass and you can ride any rail, any train, any bus all over the city. Um, for basically 24 hours mm -hmm. yeah and so what we're gonna do today is we are going to go see some breakfast and then we are gonna go get on public transportation and we are gonna tell you guys how easy it is to get from the Miami Airport station mm -hmm. to the cruise terminal for only two dollars and 25 cents a person yes hopefully we'll see well um, you know if all else fails we'll just get an uber if we don't make it right mm -hmm. it's not that big of a deal we'd had to do that anyways uh, so one more thing about the hotel. So this hotel is supposed to be like a wellness hotel. So they have like a workout area in the room. Um, it was very clean. Um, they have a pool. They have like a picnic area outside. They actually have a restaurant downstairs that we're going to go look and see if we want to get anything from there. I'm not super hungry. Um, I just felt like I should eat just a little bit something, but I guess we'll be eating at noon when we get on the ship. So if we don't, if we don't, we don't. Um, but yeah, this hotel was super convenient. Um, the area, we were outside last night because we ordered DoorDash and we were looking around to see how sketch it felt. It felt it's pretty fine. Bad. It's an industrial area, so yeah. there's really no one around after work hours. It's pretty well lit though, and I didn't, I didn't feel scared. Like I feel like we would have been okay walking to the, the, terminal, um, the terminal. I don't know if I would have went by myself, but with him I would have been fine doing that. Um, there's really not a whole lot of restaurants that are walkable distance here. So that could be a concern for people, but we just did DoorDash. I think it ended up being like seven extra dollars to get, because we got Wingstop to get it. Then we, if we would have just went and picked it up. And I don't feel like that that's like super expensive for the convenience. And then um, the shuttle driver, if he's not busy, he did say that he would take you to a local restaurant. So there's that option too. I don't know if that's always available or if he just didn't have a lot of people coming in tonight or yet last night or not, but anyways, so we are gonna go check out the breakfast situation mm -hmm. and then we are gonna start our journey to the cruise terminal. Yay, I'm so excited. All right, we will see you guys soon. Okay, bye. So just to give you guys a little, here is the kind of setup you get in the room for the hotel. You get your own little kind of pooling station and some yoga stuff. And when you turn on the TV for the first time, it is on the yoga station. So they're very into their fitness. Yoga, especially. Yoga. Okay, talk to you guys later. All right, so this is the breakfast menu that they have at the hotel. So, uh, we, like I said, we are attempt to go to the port, um, on a, through the public transit. Uh, the train was just fine, you, you saw us on, uh, getting to the trolley, though, from the train. There's a lot of construction. There's a lot of construction, so we probably went to the right one at first, but for some reason I did not feel comfortable going to that one, so... We had to walk quite a bit to get to one that we for sure know is going to go because it even says on the sign. So, yeah, so watch out for that. If you do try to use the transit, sometimes the construction might get you to where it's hard to get one of those big old buses or trolleys through. 
So, just so you guys are aware. But yeah, we are just waiting for the trolley now and then we'll be able to get to the port. Like we're now. Essentially, as we got on, we have yeah. an adventure like getting you. here sucks, but like, once we're here, great, fun. Look at my beautiful wife just carrying all this luggage like she's a cool kid. Yeah. And that little kick flip and everything. I would say this is our first time on the Celebrity Cruise. It's a short cruise, but it's a win. We're excited, we're so excited. Okay, so we are on the ship. We've came to the buffet and we've got our first celebrity buffet item. I got some roast beef, mashed potatoes, carrots, spinach au gratin, and some horseradish. And Will's gonna get some pizza, we'll show you that. Um, we're gonna share this and try everything. This roast beef looked really good and the mashed potatoes looked really good and carrots because of health. So, yeah, we'll let, you, we'll let you see what all food we get. We'll take you on a tour of the buffet later. It's a little bit crowded today since it's boarding day, but not as crowded as it usually is on other ships, or other cruise lines, so. Yay! So I got some pizza. Just two pieces for now, and then we'll see what else is on the line. And you're sharing this with me. And I'm sharing it. So yeah. So we also got some salad. This is what I, what I got, and Jordan will show you what she got in a second. Oh, also I got a Sprite with my uh, drink package. It's classic non-alcoholic. Hi, so we have just been exploring the ship. Right now we're in the rendezvous lounge. Uh, we'll have to do something for work real quick before we set sail. And he got a coffee with his beverage, and I'll insert a picture of it here. And that's included on his classic non-alcoholic package, I think is what it's called. And so that's just the one that you get coffees, bottles of water, sodas, things like that. So he's so far he's got two bottles of water, a soda, and a coffee. So I, I think he's doing a pretty good job making making it worth its money. So it's just about, I think, like 2 o'clock now. And I think we set sail in about an hour or so. So we'll get some views of set sail and, and see Will being boring over here. All right, guys. So this is the, go, the third going up until the fourth. Martini bar over there. You can hear me. All right, this is the Sky Lounge. That is the carnival sunrise in front of us? Behind us? Ah, uh, behind us. Behind us? Yeah. And so we we were just talking, we were thinking this would be a good combination to do. Do a four day on here, then jump over there and do a, I think they do shorter cruises too. The sun is bright. The sun's so bright. You can see us at least. Yeah. Hi. We had, uh, Miami's very pretty. 
Uh -huh. It's a very pretty port to go out of. I very understand pretty. why people say that. Yeah, it's very pretty. And it, you, you can uh, get here with public transportation. <laughs> Barely. We still haven't Barely. told you that story yet. You might almost break your neck. But, uh, it's yeah. It's possible. For $2.25 a person, you can get here. Yeah. Who I've sweat. I have tears. No tears, no tears, nobody cries. I have tears from inside from Will. He was just scared that I hurt myself. But um, I don't even know if you can hear us because of the wind. So we'll quit talking to you. Okay. We'll just show you what Miami looks like. So we came to get a snack. Yeah, snack food. <laughs> Pizza, brownie. So they actually have quite a few things available this time. Like mm -hmm. they have pizza, salad, dessert. It's called it's like between snack time. Yeah, okay, like pre dinner bites. Pre dinner bites. snacks, bites. Yeah. yeah, bites. So it was actually quite a bit here. So it doesn't completely close, which is what we really like. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try this pizza. Well, Will had some earlier. I haven't tried. I didn't try pepperoni though, so. Yeah, that's usually our favorite. Yeah. All right. Free dinner bites. All right, guys. Hi. So. I'm a Will. It's it's time for a quick chat, a catch up and chat. Now that we're finally in the room, so. It was hectic getting over here. So we mentioned a little bit earlier that our <laughs> our using the public transportation didn't exactly work as we planned. So we're not sure if those stops weren't working or if the, just the guide that we were following, we were just confused. But we ended up putting it in Google and it took, it ended up making us walk 10 minutes down, like downtown to get to a, the stop that's outside of Bay Bayfront um, Park. Yeah, Bayfront Park. And so we sat there until the trolley came. Now you have to be really careful because there's a bunch of different buses that use that stop. I think there's four buses and two tr different trolleys that go there. So you have to very be very, very careful. I think two of the same trolley, same route for trolley yeah. went before our trolley came. Right. So you have to look for the one that it's uh, the orange and green and it's it looks like a palm trolley tree. palm yeah. tree and you have to look at the sign when it's coming it has to be the one that says port of miami now we think that after we did our own research that we could probably get back into here in a better way that required less walking downtown with luggage just because that's not really that convenient for a whole lot of people mm -hmm. um also i will say a word of warning when getting on the bus with luggage um, they're supposed to wait until you get behind the white line to check off, check to take off um, for safety reasons. But for some reason, our trolley driver, as soon as the door shut while I was still on the stairs carrying my luggage up the stairs, he decided to take off. And because I had the heavy bag in my hands carrying up the stairs, it caused me to fall forward and I hit my knee pretty bad. And yeah, it was. Yeah. So, it's a situation. Yeah, and he was like, "Oh, I'm sorry," but I'm like, "You already did it." Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like, what can you do? Like, he could have at least waited till I got off the stairs to where I could have held on to something, because I'm like carrying my bag up the stairs, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was, anyways. My knees seems to be okay now. Um, we'll see in the morning. Yes. But after that one, we got on the bus, ended up dropping us off right in front of. The celebrity terminal yeah i pulled it a little fast and 
then he just kept asking, is it here, is it here, is it here? So we finally got close enough, we're like, yeah, it's here. Yeah. And then we got dropped off. But I, I think know. it was actually at the end, I think I, we, when we researched it, it's at the end of G is where we normally stop, at least from what it's looked at by their maps. Yeah. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna try to get back on public transit. I know, I don't know why. We're we're crazy. But we're gonna try to get back to the airport using public transport because we did only spend four dollars and fifty cents to get here. Yeah. Um and we wanted to do it to show you guys because we haven't really seen any vloggers try to get around Miami more economically. They either already have cars or they all just Uber. So mm -hmm. Uber was twenty five. It was least. gonna be twenty five to thirty dollars, and we thought, eh, we <laughs> we can do it. It's fine. We only have carry ons, and it was fine. We're fine. Everything turned out fine. It did end up taking longer than we thought it would take, and it always does. So I would just say, if you're gonna do public transportation and you have like a set time you're supposed to be there, leave Don't. two hours before. Yeah. At just least. in case because we made every connection up until the trolley connection the coral way trolley where we had trouble finding which one which stop we were supposed to get at mm -hmm. and we're gonna look for you guys because i think that we for the same four dollars and fifty cents i think we can get back to the airport um taking two different options a free option and then a paid option to get there mm -hmm. and it'd be a lot less walking down uneven streets and dragging luggage around the city so we'll see how that works out maybe i'm wrong but will thinks it'll work too right yeah, yeah. so we will we'll keep you guys posted we'll film that for you on our debarkation video um but when we got to the cruise terminal so on celebrity in case you guys don't know you can come to your room before you go eat lunch or anything and drop your luggage off and then you get your cards and you go and then they finish doing whatever they need to do to your room while you're eating lunch so we came in our room and like the, the worst door, thing the, the door was open and there was a fan blowing on the carpet so i asked the room star i was like is it okay he told us that it was like a spill of wine and that they had to clean the carpet and um that's what happened, but it, it, it kind of has a smell. Yeah, it looks like they probably haven't made, let it completely dry, unfortunately, and it's it's still wet. Like, I'm, you can still slide your foot, unfortunately, so no barefootness yeah. happening. I think they have slippers, though. Did yeah. you see slippers? Um, I did not, but I will look for slippers, because... Because we didn't bring I them, because we... Yeah, I don't want to put my feet in. We did carry on only. Have we told you guys what we did to get here? We did carry on for the whole way. Well, all the way through. So how oh, we got <laughs> how we got to Miami yeah, is does this need to be a separate uh, video? A second, a separate I, shot. I mean, maybe we'll do like how to be frugal in Miami or something okay. and put this on here. But I'll go ahead and tell you guys. So we flew out of Dallas, so we drove from Oklahoma City down to Dallas, and we took the 8:30 flight because that way he could work. 3 p.m. Yeah, 8.30 p.m. So that way he could work a six hour day and only have to take two hours off. I took the whole day off. I didn't really need to. I could have taken, I could have worked the whole day I and mean, it would have still worked. But, um, and then we drove down to Dallas. We got to the airport way too early because we went out of Love Field and there was just like nobody there. No so if we're doing an 8.30 flight in the future, I think we could probably get there well, at like seven. We say no one there, but at least we got there because traffic started picking up. So, mm -hmm. I guess we didn't really hit traffic too much. Yeah, but I still think an hour would be plenty of time to get through security. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Once we were there, it was a breeze to get yeah. through. Yeah. So, we definitely, we'd probably leave around 3.30 or 4 in the future because it takes three hours to get there. Mm -hmm. But, um, anyways, so we flew into Miami. We got there around 12.15 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then we slept in the airport, guys. Yeah. Um, a note: um, There's the secure side, the side that you're usually on when you get off the airport, and then the unsecure side, pretty much after security, before security. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, Miami's airport is not like others. I think if you... Well, we don't know a lot of airports. We don't fly a lot, but True. the airports um, we fly, usually you go of. through security and then all like the restaurants and everything on the other side of security. But that's not the way Miami is no. set up. The way Miami set up is it's kind of like a spoke system to mm -hmm. where each spoke or major um, what do they call concourse yes. or terminal yeah, concourse. has a security and so in order to get to the restaurants and things that are open you have to go through security and so getting back into the secure area if you don't have a ticket is probably not a thing yes so we stayed in the secure area and Southwest just happens to land in one of the smaller terminals mm -hmm. so there was like nobody there maybe like three other yeah. four other people and then the cleaning staff and so we just stayed there and we took turns taking naps until about 4.30. And then at 4.30, we went outside to get coffee and mm -hmm. breakfast. So we went to Starbucks, we went to Dunkin'. We walked around and explored the airport to kind of figure out what was going on there. And then our shuttle for our hotel starts at seven. Mm -hmm. So we went out and got the shuttle to the hotel. We went to the hotel and they actually let us check in early with uh, a fee for $50 so we went up we checked in we went upstairs put our, got to put our stuff down and we mm -hmm. took a nap until it was time to go to our little Havana tour which will be the video right before this one so make sure you check that out uh, we had a great time on that um, that's probably the best tour that I've ever done before yeah and, and that was also traveling with public transit right and that's another example of how we did public transportation we have not taken an uber this entire trip to Miami we have not paid more than 12 bucks or it's 15 bucks I guess probably like less than $15 total for transportation this entire trip um, so and it'll end up being less than $20 for transportation for the entire trip yeah so I mean there are ways to do it more affordably and I think that the Miami airport was completely safe to stay in mm -hmm. especially in the secured areas for nobody sure. bothered you nobody bothers you just make sure yourself you're like situationally aware I think I would even do it by myself um, I don't know if I would sleep. I might just yeah. like have something to work on and like work through the night. Come on guys, we've all pulled one night ears, right? <laughs> Whether it be with drinking or <laughs> studying. No judgment. All right, so I think that kind of catches you guys up to now. We just watched Sail Away. Um, I'll have inserted some footage there and we went and got some snacks just because we could and we're gonna get unpacked and then we're gonna get ready for dinner because we have dinner in about an hour um, in the cosmetolitan dining room which is MDR and so celebrity we're still not quite sure on the dress code so we're gonna be slightly more dressed up just so that we make sure to blend in so because a lot of times on day one on like carnivore world we don't necessarily change yeah we just stay we just stay in our regular clothes but we are gonna change this time because I don't want to be looking like uncouth or anything up here with these highfalutin folks and no one's been high no nobody has everybody's been really nice especially the crew they've been great mm -hmm. we met one, one crew member at the buffet that was really nice his mm -hmm. name is ian and he's from was it zimbabwe or? yes zimbabwe he's been on the ship for just three months so he's seemed like he's doing a great job yeah <laughs> all right Will's arm's getting really tired and I've talked too much. So we will see you guys in our dinner fits. All right, talk to you soon.